What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am. Today we're going to be talking about something going on in the world of technology that I personally find very interesting. Okay, it's not YouTube drama. It's not anyone with Gorilla Glue in their hair. But basically all around the world there's a shortage of computer chips and uh, all these companies are like really complaining about it. I don't know. I think it's interesting slash funny so I figured we could be talking about the uh, international chip shortage going on right now so without further ado let's get into it baby sit back relax and enjoy All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I personally am a fan of technology, you know, it's why my job's a YouTuber, I love computers, I love video games, I love all that stuff, and I have been noticing that in the uh, recent year or so, technology has seemed a lot harder to get a hold of. Like, pre-COVID, I would never have any trouble getting my hands on any technology whatsoever, and it seems like I'm having to, like, turn to resellers and whatnot quite a bit more these days, and I saw this headline that did kind of explain it, but I really had no clue how widespread this situation really was. Why there's a chip shortage that's hurting everything from the PlayStation 5 to the Chevy Malibu. So, usually when there's a chip shortage, it's like a specific type of chip. I remember back in 2017, there was like a huge shortage of GPUs during the uh, crypto boom because everybody was trying to buy them. But this time around, dude, it's literally everything. As the headline said, even Chevy Malibu's sitting in the production facility like we simply cannot go out yet. Our chips are disabled. Real talk, dude. I just think this goes to show you that the world is getting uh, extremely reliant upon technology. I'm just saying it might be a bad idea where like if one company has uh, demand issues or supply issues, sorry, and can't provide chips that like the entire world economy has supply issues probably is not the best way to handle things. Yep, sorry guys, you can't buy a computer or a car or a pacemaker because uh, this one company's not working. A chip shortage that started as consumers stocked up on personal computers and other electronics during the COVID-19 pandemic now threatens to snarl car production around the world. On Tuesday, GM said that it would extend production cuts in the US, Canada, and Mexico until the middle of March, and they joined a long list of automakers including Ford, Honda, and Fiat Chrysler, which have warned investors or slowed vehicle production production because of the chip shortage. But it's not just the automotive industry that's struggling to get enough semiconductors to build their products. AMD and Qualcomm, which sell chips to most of the top electronics firms, have noted the shortage in recent weeks, and Sony blamed the chip shortage for why it's so hard to get a PlayStation 5 game console. Alright, so obviously that's pretty widespread, but I do think it's funny, dude, that Sony is like, oh, see guys, this is the reason you can't get your PlayStation 5. Like, I'm not even saying it's wrong, it's probably true if everything else in the world is getting affected I'm not saying they're not but it is funny they're like see guys look it's not our fault that people are selling PlayStation 5s for eight grand and you can't buy them look you can't possibly be mad at us I will say I really am not too surprised that this is going on if you think about the last year and just how much technology people had to buy it isn't surprising that like the eventual supply issues were gonna catch up I mean let's think about it this way bro how many people People's parents like didn't each have their own laptop you know you just had a family computer COVID happens well you're working from home now you don't really have much of a choice oh by the way the school's gonna give you a laptop they have to buy those from somewhere those have chips in them I mean and cars obviously I'm gonna guess aren't like the priority for these businesses I'm, I'm gonna assume most of their money comes from like giving phone companies chips and whatnot just because I'm guessing there's a lot more phones being built with chips than there are cars so obviously when there's a huge demand increase for like the computers and whatnot there's gonna be a crunch everywhere because uh, they're using all the supply also I feel bad for all the workers that might get affected by this dude but how funny is it that like GM and Ford these multi-billion dollar car companies with these factories and robots get brought to their knees by like a chip the size of a penny 
chips are likely to remain in short supply in the coming month as demand remains higher than ever. The Semiconductor Industry Association said in December that global chip sales would grow 8.4% in 2021 from 2020's total of $433 billion, and that's up 5.1% between 2019 and 2020, a notable jump given how large the absolute numbers are. Semiconductors are in short supply because of strong demand for electronic shift business models in the semiconductor world that created a bottleneck among outsourced chip factories and effects from the U.S. trade war with China that started under former President Trump. So really, this just looks like the perfect storm to cause a crunch that is going to affect every company. The trade war, I'm not really sure how large the impact would be there. I do know that we did increase tariffs on stuff coming in from China. And considering semiconductors are really cheap, a, a small tax, even if it is a couple cents on a 10 cent part, does start to break into your margins. I'm, I'm not super sure about that though. I will say dude, really what this does go to show is maybe relying on companies from only one place to all make one part isn't the best idea dude. Like maybe GM and Ford it's about time for you guys to start getting your own semiconductor facilities and whatnot. Or uh, using different companies dude because I just don't understand how all of these companies rely on like the three four semiconductor makers to make every chip everything uh, gm ford fiat all y'all just just using the same guy none of y'all thought that like oh well if this guy goes down we're all screwed no, no no it doesn't help that sales are also like going probably to continue to grow in different ways obviously i will say i think like the pc boom is over most people probably got theirs i think sales aren't gonna slow down as much but i don't think like i think peak demand for pcs and whatnot has passed pc sales were up 4.8 percent in 2020 to 275 million units with over 10% growth in the holiday season, according to Gartner data. That reversed a years-long decline, and it's the highest annual growth in PC market since 2010. Other gadgets sold well, too. The Consumer Tech Association and American Trade Group said 2020 was the biggest year on record with $442 billion in retail sales revenue and is projecting big demand for game consoles, headphones, and smart home products in 2021. And all these devices include a ton of chips, not just the central processor, which can cost tens or hundreds of dollars, but also less expensive chips for the controlling display, managing power, or operating a 5G modem. The current chip shortage all starts with the unprecedented demand for personal computers and peripherals as the globe worked and attended school from home. Patrick Moorhead, founder of More Insights, a firm that studies the semiconductor industry, said. So like I said, man, it's really the perfect storm, dude. It's kind of our fault. We all wanted like our new gaming PCs. Ah, look at us ruining the automotive industry one car at a time, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way the ball bounces. Jokes aside though, dude, I just do think we're in a very unprecedented time. Obviously, like they probably should not have used the same person, but in the same token of breath, I don't really think any of these car manufacturers or tech companies really saw the global pandemic coming and shutting the entire world down for a year either and just keeping demand high this long remember we were all supposed to be like out of this after two weeks bro it's been a year now i think the demand has been a little bit higher than it's supposed to be for super long it does make me wonder though if we're ever gonna see like a reverse trend where people are gonna stop buying chips as much like nah i don't need a new phone this year i just bought eight every year for a while because of the pandemic and, and staying from home and whatnot. I have no clue, dude. I will say perfect storms are perfect storms, and what really sucks is that the people that are going to end up paying for it are uh, probably us. Realistically, if there is a squeeze of like a lack of new cars on the market because they're not making them and car sales continue to go through the roof, big demand low supply naturally leads to higher prices. I don't really know if the car sales are still on as, as on on fire as they were earlier in the pandemic but i know they were getting record sales too game consoles are getting record sales people having to pay resale for ps5 yep y'all are shelling out the big boy bucks because they don't have the semiconductors you know so while it sucks that these companies don't have the supply it really does suck that the billion dollar companies aren't the ones mega mega suffering it's usually us because yeah ford might not sell as many cars for a little bit but whatever they're worth a couple hundred billion dollars they'll be okay
Electronic industry giants that have reported record sales say that they could have been even better if there was enough supply. Apple, which recently reported a blowout $111 billion quarter, told analysts it didn't have enough supply of its new iPhones to meet demand, and CEO Tim Cook told Reuters that semiconductor demand is very tight. AMD CEO Lisa Su, which makes the processor at the heart of Sony and Microsoft's new consoles, said last month that it expects shortages throughout the first half of the year, and the industry does need to increase overall capacity levels. Ah yeah, Apple, only $111 billion in the quarter. You're right, bro. It, it could have done better. Realistically, though, it does suck to know that I'm not going to be able to get my hands on a PlayStation 5 for the first half of the year because I'm just not going to pay someone $800 for it. And what's crazy to me is, like, if Apple and uh, AMD are having trouble getting semiconductors, then it's definitely, definitely got to be pretty bad across the board. Obviously, the article itself mentioned car manufacturers, but, you know, I feel like AMD and Apple are pretty uh, important customers to these semiconductor companies, and if they are even not being able to get chips in the quantities that they're demanding them, then I can't imagine how they're treating, like, a Bob's hearing aid company or, like, like uh, Mark's uh, bug be gone or whatever other technology weirdness has been made with semiconductors in it. Like if Apple and AMD are saying, hey guys, we're not going to get all of our stuff on time, then you know for a fact that they're just straight up not delivering to like anything less important than that. No wonder GM and Ford are having to shut down production. They're like, wait, who are you guys again? Are you Tim Cook? No? Okay, shut up. Get off the phone. He's like, I'm the CEO of Ford. I don't care who you are, bro. I make semiconductors, right? right now, all right? I'm more in demand than, you know, the, the only single girl at the party, G. I'm more in demand than Chick-fil-A on a Sunday right now, and you expect me to care that you're the CEO of some stupid company called Ford? The shortage in the semiconductor industry is across the board, said incoming Qualcomm CEO Cristiano Ammon last month. Not only le le leading nodes, but legacy nodes, referring to chip manufacturing technology. Cars now include scores of tiny chips, many of which perform functions like power management, and cars also use a lot of microcontrollers which can control traditional automotive tasks like power steering, or are the brain and heart of the infotainment system, and cars also usually use just-in-time production, which means they avoid having extra parts in storage. The problem is that even if a 10 cent chip is missing, you can't sell your $30,000 car. Alright, this might seem like an unpopular opinion, I feel bad for the workers that might be affected, dog, but we've in this been in this pandemic for a year now for GM all you car makers and if you haven't realized that a chip shortage is inevitably coming and tried to get more parts and storage or you know figure something out I, I really am not having a crap ton of sympathy for you dude you're telling me that you guys knew that there was going to be a massive shortage of like 10 cent chips that were going to prevent you from selling your $30,000 car and you guys were like well we better stick to this production model where we never have stuff in storage I don't know man that just seems like it's uh not very very well thought out in my opinion. Obviously, I'm not running a hundred billion dollar car company, so I maybe should keep my mouth shut on the regards like that. But I'm just saying, bro, maybe use a little bit of forethought next time. Now the automotive industry is realizing it's a lower priority than the electron electronics companies at the foundries. In 2020, only 3% of TSMCs, that's the biggest semiconductor maker in the world, sales were from automotive chips compared to 48% of its sales from smart smartphones. Tech companies are the volume guys. They have higher margins and they never cut down their orders and have long-term contracts with the foundries. Now that this auto demand peaked faster than the OEMs had expected, autos can't get back in the queue. The foundries are aware of this issue, and TSMC, which has seen the most advanced and most important foundry, said that it was trying to help the auto companies and said it would spend as much as $28 billion this year to increase capacity. While our capacity is fully utilized with demand from every sector, TSMC is relocating our wafer capacity to support the worldwide automotive industry. It's a sign we're in a changing world, dude. For like a hundred something years now, I feel like every single, you know, important company has been an automaker and oil company and now the uh, car makers are being told that they're not the priority at these chip makers they've got to be very confused dude what do you mean you're not going to prioritize us 
Well, to put it simply, y'all just ate the big dogs no more. Sorry, Ford. Sorry, GM. You guys had a good run of being the most important companies for a while, but uh, it just appears that the shoe is now on the other foot. Anyways, guys, that's what's currently going on. That's why you can't get a PS5, why you can't get an Xbox One right now. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Do you think uh, the auto company should have seen this coming? Do you think it's just to sign things are changing? I'd love to know your guys' opinion. I know this was probably a little bit more uh, boring of a video than you guys thought it was going to be. I don't know. I found it fun. I had a bunch of fun making it, but I understand if y'all didn't like it. If you did, I would really appreciate you liking, commenting down below, as I said, and subscribing if you're new and turning on those notifications. If you want more content, I do have a podcast called The Scuffed Cast. A link to that can be found down below, along with the link to the intro song. If y'all feel like giving that a listen, it would be much appreciated. And uh, yeah, other than that, the merch link is also down below. And last and certainly not least, we got to give a shout out to all the members. If you become a member here on the channel, you get a shout out at the end of every video and a verified check mark next to your name in the comment section. So without further ado, a big shout out to Christian Candy Rose, Taco Man, Caveman, Blink, Jacob, Eli Garrett, Sam Brony, Ultra Radish, Raymond, Michael, Pepe, TNT Yourself, Bullseye Ben, Michael Harris, Cyrus, Nick, Hex, Philip Keel, Flofty, Kanye, Wiro, Lackey, Hall Spy, Caden, Jinx, Carrot, Calvin, Kinsta, Isaiah Rogers, Random Bot, Rozak, Bauman, Trash McGee, Toasty, Ansel, Tom, Knees, Dutz, Kim, Home Gang, Dashy Boy, DJ Legend, Antog, Alex, Tendons, Coleman, Typical Panda, Master Milks, Aaron Love Scrubs, William Dubois, Rosento, Mackenzie, Geo, Poiz, Jellybean, Wuffles, Benedicti, Mom, Man Madness, Brandon Groves, Flawed Phoenix, Dylan Chungus, Unreal Decoys, Sebastian, Beige, Johnny Dude, Cosmic Ramen, Fabulously Terrifying, Chandler Lewis, Ryuki, and Why So Blurry. Thank you all so much for being members. I appreciate it. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.